Now out to North Carolina where another boat capsized Tuesday. Lindsay Oliver has the story of two shrimpers forced to tread water for 14 hours. It's the most dangerous occupation in the United States. But you survived. But we survived. Kenny Rustic has spent 33 years as a commercial fisherman. But Tuesday afternoon, the dangers of the profession swelled with an oncoming storm. I told William, I said, get out. I said, but we're going to lose her right now. Get out. He and William Grant were shrimping out in the Pamlico Sound. He says around 4 Tuesday afternoon, his boat, the Mad Lady 2, began to take on water. One of his stabilizers broke, and then their 17 to 1,800 pounds of shrimp all slid to one side of the boat. She eventually had too much. He yelled to Grant, who escaped out the cabin's back door. The boat rolled over right then. I was still in the cabin. It flooded it with water, and um, I was able to get the window open. Just in time, he escaped. The men were able to grab a cooler with drinks and held on to a large floating lid. We got to save our lives and think about ourselves and our families. And um, we needed one panic. We kept each other alert all during the night. 14 hours floating and treading in the sound. But when daylight broke, the Coast Guard found them. I want to thank, thank everybody for the thoughts and prayers. I want to thank the Coast Guard. And I want to thank everybody that came out searching front for us from Englehart to Carter County. That was Lindsay Oliver reporting.